So uh, there are multiple ways you can transfer the data. Okay. So you can transfer your data from your on premises system to GCS bucket. Also, you can transfer your data from any of the cloud or any HTTP URL to the GCS bucket. Also, the, there is a limit. Okay. So, uh, Google Cloud suggests you if you are going to transfer more than 2 TB of the data, okay, then use transfer appliances. Okay. So, Google Cloud, you, you need to uh, send a request to Google Cloud okay, in order to get this transfer appliances. So transfer appliances. So Google, uh, so Google Cloud will once you drop a request that I want to transfer this uh, this much amount of the data, and I need a transfer appliance. So Google will shift uh, the transfer appliances to your uh, uh, address directly. But that is uh, needed only if you have huge amount of data and uh, you are going to transfer it. So uh, so in that case. Uh, Google will that uh, Google will uh, suggest you to uh, go for this transfer appliances. You can also do this using on uh, the transfer services which is there in Google Cloud service. Uh, but this is what Google suggests you. Okay, so let's uh, see how we can transfer the data. If you go to uh, Cloud Console, if you go to Data Transfer Services. Here under storage, you can see this other data transfer services. If you go here. So uh, you have to create a transfer jobs. So let's see first uh, transfer from any cloud to GCS bucket. Right now, I don't have any Azure or AWS. But if you have, if you want to transfer from any of the other cloud platform, any uh, uh, different cloud platform, Azure or AWS. So you can also do that uh, here using the transfer service, Google transfer services. So if you go here, you will create a job. Here it yes, is. Yes, Father. Uh, for less than two TB only, we have to go for data transfer. Yeah. No, if it is more than two TB, so Google uh, that time uh, it's not mandatory, but if it is more than uh, 2 TB. So what Google will, <coughs> so Google will suggest you to use some trans transfer appliances. Okay. So if, if the data is more than, sorry, not 2 TB, more than 20 TB. I think it is more than 20 TB. If it is more than 20 TB, so in that case, Google will suggest you uh, to use some transfer appliances so that you can transfer the data uh, in less time. So that's why Google will suggest you. It is not 2 TB, it is uh, 20 TB. Okay. If your data, uh, if you are transferring data more than 20 TB of the data to storage bucket, then in that case, Google will suggest you to go for transfer appliances. Okay. So that for, you need to uh, send a request for transfer appliances. If you come here, here this is the option. You can see here transfer appliances lets you quickly and secure data transfer for large amount of data to a Google Cloud Platform. So if your uh, transfer appliances is recommended when you exceed 20 TB of the data or you, you, uh, your data transfer is taking more than a week. Okay. So in that case, Google will uh, suggest you to go for transfer appliances. And here you, you can uh, uh, mention how much amount of data you are transferring, your uh, all the details. Okay. Then you need to submit one request so that Google will send you one uh, transfer appliances. Okay. So transfer appliances, you can also see like it's not available currently in India. Uh, so uh, when it is available in, which, in your region, then only Google will send you. But nobody uses the transfer appliances in your closet if you see. Yeah. So there are many, many different ways how you can transfer the data to Google Cloud uh, storage bucket. These are the ways how you can use the transport data transfer service of Google Cloud. But this is not the only way you can uh, 
transfer the data to Google Cloud. You can also write some Python script. Okay, you can also write some Python script. Uh, uh, so there are Python library. Okay, so which you can import Python library for storage bucket for GCS. Okay, that you can use here in your Python script, and you can transfer the data from your local system to uh, GCS as well. Okay. But this is not the only way, as I said, this is not the only way. But in Google Cloud Transfer Services, you can transfer the data. Okay. So in Google Cloud Transfer Services, it, it will show you if you go to transfer jobs. So here you can uh, schedule one job or you can create a job. So right now, if, it, uh, if, if you come here, uh, it's asking you what is the source and destination type, like from where to where you want to transfer. Right now, if you if you click on this source type, so the, the, these are the different source type available: Amazon S3, Azure Block Storage Gen2, Google Cloud Storage, uh, then this file system, and then this is for the local system. Okay. If you want to transfer data from your local system, and from any of the URL list, so these are the options currently available in Google. Okay, so let's go for uh, storage to storage transfer. Uh, I mean, from GCS bucket to GCS bucket will transfer because we don't have Azure or AWS S3 for now. So if if you have, it's also easier to configure if you just go for S3. So here you need to put all those bucket name, access key. So all these things you will get from the AWS uh, environment. Okay, for your S3 bucket, if you go to AWS, you will get all these. Access key, AWS, IAM role, key ID, all these things you will get there. Similarly, if you go, if you select Azure, it will be ask you Azure related details, SAS, uh, container name, storage account name. So all these details it will ask you. If you select Google Cloud Storage, so it will ask you Google Cloud Storage details from which path you want to send your data. So I don't have any bucket now. Let's okay. We click. Cloud storage. Browser. Create a bucket. Uh, let's say this is my bucket. One. I will not, I will just go with the default document and then create the bucket. Upload a file. And then create another bucket. So if I go to my bucket, there are two buckets which I have. One is bucket one input, and this is bucket two output. Okay. Uh, if you now see inside bucket one, I have this image which I just uploaded. Inside bucket two output, I don't have anything. What I'll do? I'll transfer the data from here to here using uh, Google Cloud Data Transfer job. Okay. And this job you can also schedule. Apart from that, there are also many other options as well. Okay, so here if you select, here it's asking you from which bucket you want to uh, transfer your data. So let's select that. Let's browse my bucket. If you go here, you can also select the project ID as well. If you have any other project, you can also select that. So I'll select the incoming input data will uh, go from this bucket. I'll select that. Select. 
and also if you can add prefix as well so prefix means let's say uh, inside the bucket inside google cloud storage see right now we are just creating one bucket right but as i told you inside the bucket you can create folder right inside folder you can create uh, files right but right now i don't have any folder i'm just storing the file directly under the bucket let's say you have files let's say you have files like path one path two okay these are the folder name inside this folder you have files okay so you can add this prefix as well you can add this prefix as well okay so that is what add prefix option of this part okay you can add the prefix as well other advanced filter as well so if whether you want to modify any file or you want to uh, select any time range so that also you can do here okay let's go to next step here you can choose a destination bucket to which bucket you want you, you want to transfer your data so if you go here my i want to transfer from bucket 1 to bucket 2 so let's select bucket 2 select and let, i'll click on next step so right now you can any you can add some description for your job uh, also you can add all these like here these are options here you can see whether to overwrite so overwrite means uh, if you have the same file name so if you it's asking if same file name is exist in the destination bucket do you want to overwrite or uh, you if different you want to overwrite or you want to overwrite always so that is the these are the options you have again it's asking this is for the source it's asking if you have transfer a file from source to destination whether you want to delete that file from source or you want to delete the file from destination if they are not also on at source so uh, well, this is for the sync uh, if you want to sync your source to the destination you can go for this this option okay so these are the options different types of options which uh, google is uh, providing you so let's go with this one the second one i'll delete my file from source once they are transferred to the bucket 2 okay so here if you see uh it's asking you how you are going to schedule this job either you can run it every day if you want to transfer or every week or any custom frequency also you can put here you can put starting on uh, any any scheduling uh, uh, date uh, if you want to schedule your job uh, to start on a particular date so that also you can do from here okay but now uh, for testing purpose let's start it let's run it once and i'll start it now okay so let's create here you can see this is a job which is running i didn't provide any job description if i had provided any job description or the job name job description means the job name which you are providing so that's why it's coming blank for this is a job name default job name i'll go to this job here you can see my job is running right it is in progress so once it uh, is completed this symbol will uh, uh, change to a green tick okay right now you can see it's in progress and this much kb of the data it, it is uh, transferring right now and this is the speed also you can see okay here is the run history you can see here when the job has been done and now you can see the status is successful okay if i go to here from this bucket i transfer the data to this bucket and i delete the data from this bucket let's check that if i go here or uh, the uh, the image file which i uploaded so it's not there it's deleted and let's see it if it has been transferred to my bucket 2 so now you can see it has been transferred to the to my bucket 2 right so this is the file which i just now transfer right so this is how uh, you can transfer a file from any cloud storage from any cloud storage also from any url to gcs bucket and you can schedule a job using data transfer service of the gcs google cloud 
you can schedule a job either to run monthly, weekly, or any custom frequency also you can use. Okay. So this is how you can do it. 